Help it. From scented soap to bibs that come with the teen rated game, we count 15 of the dumbest pieces of video game merchandise ever. Number 15. Mass Effect 3 was a disappointment to many people thanks to its nonsensical ending and the fact that it discarded three games worth of player choice. But there's one other aspect to the game that's more ridiculous than the Star Child. If you got the collector's edition from EB Games, you got a metal game case, an in-game weapon, and a bizarre looking inflatable Omniblade. Just look at it. If you don't have any context, it just looks like a giant inflatable middle finger. It's like a prosthetic for amputees who lost the ability to flip the bird. Or some kind of freaky ass sex shop bath toy. Number 14. Sonic the Hedgehog is pretty much universally accepted as a kid's game, unless you do a Google image search with safe search off anyways. So what would you think to give out to fans on the game's 10th anniversary? A toy? A remake of the first game? Nope. Sega decided to go with a crystal wine glass. That's right, Sega released a special edition wine glass for a kid's game. Which seems crazy, but when you think about it, Sega does know their core audience. Children and pedophiles. Wanna come in the back of my van? I got Sonic the Hedgehog and a bottle of Chardonnay. Next, Nintendo's gonna release a keg of beer for the 40th anniversary Donkey Kong. Or maybe a bottle of amphetamines for Pac-Man's 40th. Gotta boost those pre-order numbers somehow. Number 13. Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2 Few people enjoyed The Force Unleashed 2, and for good reason, it's fan fiction wrapped up in a God of War casing. But the special item included in the collector's edition is so bad, it just looks like it was designed by a three-year-old. Just look at that USB stick. Not only is it painted so poorly it makes LEGO look like fine art, but it also has a bulbous forehead that can only be described as dumb. Let the fetal alcohol syndrome be with you. But that's not all, it also includes a whopping two gigabytes of storage. Whoa, it's almost big enough to fit half the DVD version of Star Wars. Number 12, Super Mario Brothers. We have Nintendo and Super Mario Brothers to thank for bringing gaming back from the dead, but that doesn't mean that Nintendo hasn't made some awful choices when it comes to merchandise. Bam, check out this shower power. Isn't it amazing? Just look at the quality craftsmanship. Not only that, but it has scold protection. Who wouldn't want to get clean with the Mario Brothers? I mean, don't you want your children to get clean with a couple of middle-aged Italian plumbers? Why Nintendo thought it was a good idea to license out their IP to a company making novelty shower heads is beyond me, but hey, at least it helps convince kids to get in the shower, I guess. You get in the shower, I wash your butthole. Number 11. Sorcery Saga, Curse of the Great Curry God. This game is an RPG about delving through dungeons in order to make the best curry possible. Not only that, but according to the SRB, it holds references to drug use and has suggestive themes. So the SRB gave it a teen rating, which is fair enough. What isn't fair enough is the baffling collector's edition physical items. Who on earth thought it was a good idea to include a bib and a baby plate with a game for teens and older? I guess maybe they thought it would be big for parents, or maybe it's just a gag, but either way, I don't understand why anyone would pay that much extra for video game branded baby apparel. Maybe if you had some adult sized Sonic the Hedgehog branded diapers, you might be onto something. Number 10. Alone in the Dark for the 360 and PS3 got a lot of hype from E3, so it's no surprise the company made the collector's edition to make a little bit extra cash. However, what they ended up including is a little bit more than appalling. Well, everything apart from the figurine is pretty good, but boy is that statue bad. Just look at his face. Does it look like the face on the box? Nope. In fact, it manages to look worse than a good portion of McDonald's Happy Meal toys, which is saying something considering those toys are worth less than a dollar. Number 9. Mass Effect. Again? That's right, another Mass Effect piece of merch, but this one's definitely worse than the collector's edition inflatable fuck you. The Mass Effect Full Zip Hoodie, for when you want to rob a store, but also show off your love of video games. Renegade for life, motherfuckers. Seriously though, who the hell's ever gonna fully zip their hoodie up to the point to where they can barely see for any occasion other than a bank robbery? Number 8. Gamer Grub. Don't want to eat like a noob? Buy this packet of snacks, it totally has video game performance enhancing ingredients. Not only that, but it claims to keep your fingers grease free, but it doesn't mention anything about powder or any other substances that will turn your controller or keyboard and mouse into an ant's daydream. I got a solution though, the gamer fork. Use a fucking fork. That way you don't get shit on your controller, you fucking idiots. Number 7. No More Heroes is an action adventure game with a whole lot of ridiculous and vulgar humor, so I guess it's no real surprise they made some merchandise that involves asses. 
Actually, never mind. It is a surprise that a company thought people would want to buy a video game themed brand of toilet paper. I mean, I'm sure people have bought it for novelty's sake, but it's still a dumb as all buggery item to sell. Number 6. Ah uh, yeah, Angry Birds, the casual game that took the mobile software market by storm. There's just about every kind of Angry Birds merchandise you can think of. Someone in the merchandise department went to work, sat down at their desk, and thought long and hard about an item to sell, and what did they come up with? A bra. That's right, a bra. Not only that, but this also went through multiple vetting processes and came out the other end as a mass-produced product. It's probably just a setup for their next game, Angry Tits. Oh wait, I get it, there's birds called tits and boobies. I don't think that's what went through their minds, but it actually makes sense when you think about it like that. Plus, the bra could double as a slingshot just in case you want to take your Angry Birds game to the next level. Number 5. Street Fighter 4. Fighting games are well renowned for having a fan base that just loves to get all comfy in a blanket and play for hours on end. So here we have an officially branded Snuggie to corner the market. Yep, Capcom have in fact confirmed that this item isn't a knockoff of any kind and it's available to buy right now. Obviously, they thought that Snuggies themselves weren't dumb enough and decided to make a hardcore blanket with sleeves on it. Or as I like to call them, backwards dressing gowns. It even has the easy access back slot just in case you need to poop in a sock during a 12 hour gaming session. Number 4. Xbox 360. The 360 is one of the most popular gaming consoles of all time, especially with the non-casual audience. So there's obviously a lot of merch surrounding Microsoft's most popular console. The Xbox soap gives gamers a reason to shower, you filthy greasy fucking nerds. Okay, I added the filthy fucking nerd part, but that's literally the first thing you read about the item in the official item description. I've seen Microsoft and these other companies be pretty fucking crass to their customers, but this is just literally saying, you guys fucking stink, here's some soap. Now pre-order Halo, you disgusting fucks. Not only that, but this weird piece of merch is scented with, you guessed it, Mountain Dew, so you can smell the same when you get out of the shower as you did when you got in. Sticky and sugary. Number 3. NES Controller BDSM Paddle. Is your gamer partner not active enough in bed? Are you into leaving and receiving ass beatings in the bedroom? Well, look no further. This product is guaranteed to spice up your sex life. With the expertly crafted and painted wooden paddle, your partner won't be able to tell if they're playing a NES or slapping a booty. Unfortunately for kinky or inclined gamers, this product for some strange reason is no longer available to purchase. I guess you'll have to go back to your boring old res trance vibe. Number 2. Street Fighter Sex Pills Speaking of sex life, if you're disappointed by the unavailability of the NES spank 3000, we have another product that's sure to get your dick facing north when you need it to. Here we have the Street Fighter themed sex pills that assure you on the packet that they are in fact better working than Viagra. But that's not all, they also pose no threat whatsoever to those who suffer from hypertension or heart disease. Don't forget to buy the street overload pills, because everyone wants to overload in the bedroom. Danger Dolan logo not included. Number 1. Call of Duty Black Ops It's no secret that the Call of Duty franchise is one of the most ubiquitous and popular video game franchises of all time, especially around the time of Black Ops release. It's also no secret that you can't walk into any game related shop without seeing some Call of Duty related merch. But this is one Call of Duty related item that you won't find in any game store. This is due to the fact that it's a little bit hard to fit an entire Jeep into a game store. You heard it right ladies and gentlemen, Jeep teamed up with Activision to create a $31,000 vehicle just for Call of Duty fanatics. Of course, the only thing that really sets it apart from a normal Jeep Wrangler apart from costing almost 9 grand extra is a couple of small painted logos that you have to look extra hard to see. Sure, it's obvious that a vast majority of people probably don't want to show off their gaming habits on their car, but then what's the point of the vehicle in the first place? Oh that's right, there is none. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.